my last video, although it was funny, it didn't really show anything, and my purpose is to put out tutorials. This is a piece of the clip right here that I used to uh, make that video. This isn't the whole thing, it's a piece. Once the video is loaded, I can load it right here, and once, I'm, once it's loaded, I pull it down and drop it here. Now the format I make my videos in is 1280 by 720. That's a very standard for YouTube. However, this video is not that big. When I drop it into Caden Live, it blows it up to f so it would fit in there, but that's not correct. But we're what we're going to do is we're going to take this image here. We're going to make a copy of it. I'm going to show you how to change the size. Paste that in. We'll go up to this original video here, and we'll change the size of it to get it to fill that whole background. That's because this is, if we look at it down here, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this bottom image as my background. Look, I put it down the soundtrack. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to use this bottom image. And if you look here, they're both the same right now. But I'm going to use this bottom image as my background. And in order for it to be a background, I want it to be full size in there. So let's zoom that. And we'll stretch it out to be full size inside of this screen. Um. Oh, this is the background. That looks weird because I've got my foreground showing here. Um, one second here. If I turn off the foreground, you can see what I'm talking about the background. And right there, that fills my whole background area. Let's pull this down so we can see it closer. That fills the whole background. Well, I think it might have some room up on Let's see here. I do wish I had a more a, a, a bigger area so I could uh, show this stuff, but I can't. You see there, that fills the full screen now. And if I turn on my foreground area, the screen, you can see it setting right there on top. That's why it's got that line that's setting on top. But let's make the background area. Let's make that first. We'll go to this background area, turn the front off, and make the background. We'll take that background and we'll use the artistic up here. And let's turn it into a cartoon. I've got to uh, turn off the top layer and I have just the back showing right now. Okay, so now we have this background image. We'll take the background image and let's give it a cartoon. Now that adds a little bit so that so when we put the contrast, the front of the front image, it is the front image, it looks different, but it's not different enough. So let's turn it into a charcoal. A cartoon and a charcoal effect. Now this looks pretty good. Now if I lay the top image on top of it, we have a contrast. That's how I made the small image on top. However, this is this front one, or the image on top. This one still is blown up large. It's 720, and the original image was only 480 by 360, much smaller. If I make it this big, it's gonna be blurry. So I've gotta take this and shrink it down some. So what we'll do here is drop down to Crop and Transform. Now under Crop and Transform, we want to position and zoom.
the size I want is for the height to be 480. Now, this is different than the one that was posted. This will be a sharper image than the one that was posted. We're also going to do something else that wasn't done. Because, again, it's just to show different effects. Let's take and add another layer here. Insert a layer. We want to put a video track in. Let's copy this bottom track. We'll take the bottom track. We'll copy it. Copy it and we'll paste it below. Now we've got the exact same thing in the bottom as we do on top. But I want color to it. I want to put some color to it. So let me get rid of the cart of the of the charcoal. Now what I can do is take a transform on the image above. Go to that one. We're separated so everybody can see. Now that's off, and that's the image we're showing right here. I want to take this one here and apply a transparency to it. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be where you can see through it a little bit. So we use a transform on that. Now if I go down to the transform, ooh, when I use the transform, it shrunk it. Let me put it back to back to size again. The transform automatically shrunk it. And now we want to add some opacity to it. Let's give it about a 60% opacity. Now if the bottom is visible, it shows through. This is a little different than the other one looked. Now when I put the top in, there's the top. You can see the outline and the, of the faint color underneath. And on top of that is the uh, coal. So let's go to this charcoal. Here's the charcoal. There's the charcoal layer. Look here. And that's semi-transparent. And see if we can't sharpen that. distort. We we'll go to distort and see if we can find a oh, we don't want to distort it. An enhancement. And we want to find a sharpener. And there is a sharpener. Now if we take and we sharpen that a little bit more give it a 30 radius on the sharpening. Now when we turn the bottom on and the top on, we can try to burn this into an image and see what it does. As you see, it's much different than the other one because that image inside is smaller yet, but it should be sharper. I go up here and go to render. We want it to be an MP4, hit MP4. We're going to give it a name and call it a new one. It's pretty creative, isn't it? <laughs> new one. And I want to put it back to the same location that I uh, was originally. Or oh, in, in bamboo. And we'll save it here. Now we'll render it. Now the program, now it's being rendered. And uh, it's going to take quite a while to render, so I'll come back later. And we'll take a look and see how the, the video come out. This is basically the same video, except I will cut it a little bit shorter, uh, so you don't have to sit there and watch the whole video. 
but you can't see what effect and how I made that effect happen. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this. Hey, hon. Huh? Hon. I can't find any boxes. You know where my boxes are, hon. You're my boxes? They're all. Ah, you got my oh. boxes. No. What? That. <laughs> my boxes. Everybody oh. got my boxes. <laughs> Everybody got my boxes. I don't know. It's yours. <laughs> I know why I know boxes, hon. Oh, they're all in the shop. Oh, my God. Okay, they got that. They're all upstairs and in the rear. <laughs> they got them upstairs. Oh, my God. Oh, I, can, uh, I gotta admit, my boxes never look so nice. Hey, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and click on the link above. Thank you.